Hi guys, my name is Valerie and I'm a real Prague guide. In our today's video, we're gonna show you 20 cool places to see in Mala Strana. But before we do that, let's talk about the history a little bit. Mala Strana, or lesser town in English, is one of the original historical Prague districts located below the Prague castle. As you can guess by the name, it was started as a small merchant settlement and in the 13th century was given the rights of a town. Even though it looks really cozy and cute, Mala Strana has gone through all imaginable and unimaginable disasters – wars, sieges, floods and fires notably the fire in 1541. It started in one of the kitchens of the houses on Malastranska Square, and the fire was so bad it destroyed one-third of all buildings here and even reached the Prague Castle. I bet the dinner was awkward in this house afterwards. Well, one good thing that came from the fire of 1541 is freeing a lot of space. The remains of the burned houses were used to extend the riverbank. That is where Kampa Island is now. And later, when the Bohemian King and Holy Roman Emperor Rudolf II moved to Prague, all the aristocrats followed his suit and started to build their lavish palaces around Malastrana. That is why we have so many pretty Renaissance and Baroque buildings here. Even though Malastrana is sitting right between the Prague Castle and the old town, people rarely visit it. But I think it's totally worth it because it's much quieter and cozier than the rest of the historical city center of Prague. Plus, you have many beautiful historical buildings here. So let's go and explore. Most people get to Malastrana just by crossing Charles Bridge. From here you can see the small house of Virgin Mary, named after the painting that was found after the flood. There is a legend that a woman who lived in the house would always watch the stars on the sky from this balcony, and when she was dying, one star fell and was locked inside of this lamp to always remind people of this lady. An easy way to get to Malastrana is just to take these steps, which were featured in a movie called Mission Impossible. Yep, Tom Cruise ran up these stairs up and down, and you can pretend to run like him as well. Remember we told you that there were many floods in Prague? Just around the corner from John Lennon Wall you can find this scale with different markings about the floods in the period of Prague's history. In the middle we can see 1890, that's the flood that destroyed the pillars of the Charles Bridge. And all the way in the top, 2002, that's when everybody got wet. One of the most searched things in Prague is hidden inside of this church in Malastrana, the Church of Our Lady Victorious. Inside of this church, we have a statue of infant Jesus of Prague that was gifted here by one of the noble ladies. Nobody really knows how the statue was created. Some people say there was a monk who made it, others say there was Saint Theresa who made the statue out of wax after baby Jesus spoke to her in her dream. Whoever made it, baby Jesus inherited a great sense of style from that person because he has hundreds of dresses all stored inside of this church's museum that you can visit for free. Right across the street, we have the Museum of Czech Music. It is part of the National Museum ticket and they have a lot of fun things inside. You can try to play some old musical instruments and listen to the most famous Czech composers. I enjoyed it, even though I'm tone deaf. But right behind it, we have another interesting place to visit. It is called Michnov Palace, a beautiful Baroque building that at some point started to be used by Sokol organization. What's so called? Remember a phrase, a sound mind in a sound body? Well, that was the main motto of that organization. A lot of strong guys reading books and discussing philosophy. A husband material, am I right, ladies? A starking contrast to Sokol's philosophy is a monument which is right on the edge between Maastrana and Smichov, Prague 5 district. It is the memorial to the victims of communism. Communism in Czechoslovakia lasted from February 1948 till November 1989. During these years, over 205,000 people were arrested, over 170,000 forced into exile, 4,500 died in prison, 327 shot trying to escape, and 248 executed. As these plaques say here, this monument was installed in 2002, but not without controversy. 
The first president of Czech Republic, Václav Havel, who was a dissident and one of the writers of the first anti-communist manifesto, was not invited to the official opening of this monument. The organizers sent him the invite last minute and he declined. Hmm, what can be more awkward than this? Maybe uh, mentioning the same place twice in our video? But we have to mention it again, guys, because it's Vrtba Garden. It's insanely pretty, which is why it ended up on our list of 20 most beautiful places in Prague. Although we strongly believe that the beauty is also on the inside, which is why you should treat your insides nicely and eat good food and listen to good music. For that, you can go to Umalejo Glena, where you can get tasty chicken wings and listen to jazz. No promotion, we just like this place. All right, time to get some exercise. We are now gonna climb up to Lubkovitz Palace, nowadays used by the German embassy. It is an iconic palace in Prague. In 1989, thousands of Eastern Germans were seeking asylum through the embassy and Olbkowitz palace. They were accommodated in tents placed in the garden of the palace and on 30th of September 1989, the Minister of Foreign Affairs announced to them from the balcony of the palace that they will be sent to Western Germany. The two long streets in Malastrana, Vlaska and Nerudova are connected by this tiny street called Jansky Vršek, which has many picturesque nooks. On your way down Nerudova street, you will find this interesting house sign that portrays Saint Wenceslas. His horse's leg is twisted in an unnatural way that you can see its horseshoe. Horseshoe is an almost universal symbol of luck, but if you would put it upside down, it would actually mean bad luck, which is why they had to break the horse's leg here. Walk further and you will stumble upon two embassies, Italian and Romanian embassy, both located in beautiful Baroque palaces. The Romanian embassy has been occupying the Morzins family palace. This family has something pretty strange in their crest. It is the Moors, Muslim people from north of Africa. That is why a pair of them is holding a balcony over here. We are reaching the end of Nerudova. You can turn left and find two statues dedicated to famous political leaders. First one is Winston Churchill next to the British Embassy. And the other one is a person well known by all Czechs, Milada Horakova, who was sentenced to death by the Communist Party. During her show trial, she was given a script to read, but she still managed to defend her own ideas. Milada Horakova's story feels especially touching because of her daughter, Jana, who was able to receive the last letter from her mother that she wrote in the prison cell only after the fall of communism. You can find the video of Jana reading this letter and prepare tissues because you're gonna cry. Everybody cries. <sighs> I think I need a drink. You can grab a drink in the Museum of Slivovice, a Damson Plum brandy that is produced here, especially in Moravia, where the homemade Slivovice earned a moonshine status. Slivovice is really strong, over 40% alcohol and mainly drunk room temperature. Three shots and you will meet Czech fairy. Okay, time to visit some gardens. Malastrana is one of the greenest Prague districts, and of course you can go to Senate Gardens or Kampa, but we suggest going to Vojanovy Sady, which is just around the corner from here. You can sit down and sober up. And yeah, peacocks are real and not your hallucinations. Vojanovy Sady are named after an actor who would come here to practice his lines. While his fans were stalking him from the bushes. Mm. We are now next to Chertovka Stream, an artificial canal that was featured in one movie called Eurotrip. But not as Prague, as Amsterdam. That's right, this movie also featured Prague as Berlin, London, Paris. Actually, the whole movie was shot here. Lazy or genius? I don't know. Many people also call Prague second Amsterdam, but that's because of these fake pot plants that they sell here everywhere. Okay, our last stop will be another museum, this time dedicated to a Czech filmmaker and a revolutionary in cinema, Karol Zeman. His first famous film, The Beginning of Time, released in 1955, combined live action, animation and puppetry. In short, the master of special effects was Czech, and his tradition is alive nowadays since a lot of famous movies, such as Wonder Woman, Chronicles of Narnia, Blade Runner 2049, Wolverine, Snowpiercer, The Illusionist, were edited in terms of special effects here in Czech Republic. Thanks for watching, guys! I hope you liked our today's video about 20 cool things to see in Mala Strana. If you did, leave this video a thumbs up, and we will see you in our next one, probably on Thursday.